underground across America, and all over the world there lay many underground bases, among the most infamous include Area 51, and Dulce Base. What most people want to know is what goes on underground at these bases. Many witnesses have come forward with testimonies of what goes on in these underground cities. Thomas Costello was a former Dulce security officer, who came forward about what he witnessed. A quick Google or YouTube search of his name or the phrase, Dulce security officer speaks out, will lead you to some questions and answers between him and an interviewer. Costello had gone on the run, when he had learned his wife and children had been kidnapped. Costello has since vanished, nobody is even sure, if he is still alive today. Phil Schneider is another man, who came forward about his experience while working at Dulles. He spoke of an encounter with a Zeta Gray, which had attacked him and left him critically injured, and missing some fingers. Phil was doing his part in exposing the underground bases, and survived several assassination attempts, which he lived to talk about. He also stated that if he ever commits suicide, we would all know he was murdered. This man was later found dead with a rubber cord, which was wrapped around his neck three times in a knot, and officials ruled it a suicide. There was no way Phil would have been able to kill himself in the manner he allegedly did, he could not have tied a cord around his neck in a knot. Not only was he not suicidal, but his alleged suicide was done in a manner, which would have been extremely difficult for him, to carry out on his own given his physical injuries. He had limited mobility in one shoulder and missing fingers. It would not have made sense for Phil to take his own life while he was trying to expose a terrible government secret, especially after he told us that if he ever committed suicide, it is only because they killed him. Others have come forward with their own testimonies of these underground bases and we now have a pretty good picture of what it is like underground and the purpose of the experiments that take place at these bases. These underground bases are described as large cities, similar to Manhattan. They are all over the United States, and across the world. These cities are all connected by subterranean highways, one that depends on electric motors for the paved roads, and is for limited travel, and the other is a style of transit for freight and for passengers, that is for rapid travel. This worldwide network is called the sub-global system, and has checkpoints at each country system. The shuttle tubes that shoot the trains, at speeds that excel the speed of sound, use magnetic levitation and a vacuum method of travel. Many atrocities take place in these underground cities which include genetic experiments, advanced mind control, wiretapping, dream manipulation, human aurora studies, and human cloning. The technologies developed are used on the general population, to control them and use them as guinea pigs for further research, also to follow the agenda of the New World Order. Technologies developed for spying are used on everybody on Earth, especially those who are aware and against their plans for world domination, people who are now being labeled as sleepers, or potential terrorists. Today, if you are a truth seeker, or conspiracy theorist, you are considered, by the FBI in a program named Communities Against Terrorism, to be sleepers, or potential terrorists waiting to snap. Anyone who harbors conspiracy theories are to be considered suspicious by local police officers, according to a memo from the Department of Justice. If you are against the New World Order consider yourself under surveillance. Advanced mind control is being used on everybody through news networks, television shows, movies, ads, schools, and organized religion. Mind control is especially used on conspiracy theorists, to create false flag attacks, but before we get into that let's discuss human cloning, as it falls into the subject of mind control on unsuspecting truth seeker through MKUltra in order to commit false flag attacks. The elite, like the greys, kidnap women and impregnate them with the exact same genetic structure of the person they wish to clone, these clones are a disposable slave race forced to follow orders of their overseers. At Dulce Base there are seven levels that go underground. In order, there are levels for security and communications, human staff housing, laboratories, mind control experiments, alien housing, genetic experiments, and cryogenic storage. Footage has been smuggled Arab dolls, footage of cryogenic tanks, and cloning centers. 
The cryogenic storage level is used to hold unused organic clones. The seal has now gained the ability through technology, to transfer the consciousness from one body to another. One thing to keep in mind is that our consciousness is the same thing, as a spirit or soul, it is pure energy, our bodies are organic machines, completely made up of organic materials, a biodegradable robot to house our consciousness. These clones are implanted with a microchip in the brain, possibly where the pineal gland resides, and enables a telepathic communication channel, they can detect and decode your brain waves, see and hear your thoughts. They are all under the watchful eye of one another. They live in a culture that is based on fear of each other. If one does not follow the rules others will report him for fear of their own lives and the lives of their loved ones. These clones can be anyone. Most people you see on television is a clone. Actors, news anchors, politicians are all slaves that do nothing but follow a script and could be replaced by another at any moment. Their purpose is to live the lives of the human being they replaced and spy on civilians, especially on truth seekers, possibly kill them, if given the order. They have the ability to hear your thoughts, see your thoughts, and even implant auditory or visual thoughts in the brain of the receiver, they can make you see, and hear things that are not there. I believe this is where the shape-shifting phenomenon comes from, there is some truth to it. The brain is considered to be an advanced computer, the central processing unit of this organic machinery, and like a computer it has the ability to send and receive input. It is possible, as David Icke suggests, that in order to take the appearance of a reptilian being you must have enough Anunnaki DNA. The DNA may behave as stored data that is used to create the appearance of the Anunnaki. As a disinformation and double agent, it is important to be skeptical of what David I suggests. Someone may not need as much Anunnaki DNA in order to create the appearance of a reptilian being, possibly none at all. These clones, the slave race for intelligence agencies, play a key role in all of America's false flags. With the help of these clones, the person that commits a shooting or bombing is driven to commit these acts of terrorism through mind control MK Ultra techniques. These individuals are driven mad with subliminal messages, hypnosis, drugs, death threats, dream manipulation, and harassment. All false flag attacks are carried out by truth seekers, they are conspiracy theorists, who are victimized because of their beliefs. Sometimes the accused does not even commit the shooting, but is killed before the incident and used as the face of the attacks. Humans surrounding him are put in danger, they are the people who will be murdered, cloned, and replaced by the CIA. They are given a drug to ingest by another person, who is already a clone, that causes uncontrollable and agonizing diarrhea and vomiting until the person dies. The person is then removed and replaced with a clone, placed there to aid the CIA into driving the truth seekers mad. Anyone in the area surrounding the target is doomed to share this fate. When there is a false flag, most people, if not all, are clones who have been placed there. The one who commits the attack is the only person who is not a clone of the CIA. This includes all men, women, and children. All the crisis actors that conspiracy theorists expose are in fact clones. Here are a few examples of conspiracy theorists and their so-called involvement with false flags. Adam Lanza was a 20-year-old who allegedly began a shooting spree at Sandy Hook Elementary in Newtown, Connecticut, killing 20 children and 6 staff just after having killed his mother. Adam was not ignorant of the world around him. He and his mother were aware of the corruption and incompetence of our government. They were also aware of the Ponzi scheme, that is the US dollar and its rapid decline. The media portrayed Nancy Lanza, his mother, as a paranoid survivalist, who believed the world was on the verge of violent economic collapse. The media also claimed she was reported to have been struggling to hold herself together and had been stockpiling food, water, and guns. The Lanzas were obviously informed truth seekers, or what most people call us, conspiracy theorists. Adam Lanza had been prescribed a drug called Funapt, which has side effects that include violence, paranoia, and delusions. 
I'm sure these drugs played a key role in his experience with MKUltra. Tamerlan Zarnev was the suspected Boston Marathon bomber. Tamerlan attended a mosque, where he met a man named Donald Larkin. Donald said he and Tamerlan shared thoughts on conspiracy theories and politics, they also spoke of America and its involvement in the Middle East. Tamerlan was another informed truth seeker. Tamerlan felt he was the victim of majestic mind control, which could program him to create an alternative personality brought out by a single phrase or gesture. He believed voices were being implanted in his brain, he also told his mother it had felt like two people were inside of him. Jared Launer was the suspect in the Tucson shooting of Arizona Congresswoman Gabrielle Gifford. Jared was an informed truth seeker, or conspiracy theorist. He was aware of our government's involvement in the bombing of the Twin Towers on September 11. He was also aware of how the Federal Reserve starts conflicts to begin wars, and its involvement in the agenda to bring in a new world order. Jared was a fan of Alex Jones, a conspiracy theorist radio host, who is actually a CIA disinformation and double agent working for the elite. Aaron Alexis was the man who committed the DC Naval Yard shooting killing 12 people. Aaron witnessed the attacks on September 11th, he may have even looked into the true story behind the attacks. One thing we know for sure is he was not fond of our government or of living in America. He must have been aware of the corruption in this nation. Friends of Aaron say he was tired of dealing with the government, and wanted to leave America. This man believed he was being mind controlled. On his gun he had written, my ELF weapon, referring to extremely low frequency waves, he also wrote, better off this way, and end the torment, on a shotgun. These clones are extremely dangerous, but they are not the enemy, they are slaves who are just following orders. These people want change and to be freed as much as any of us. If they choose not to follow an order they, along with their loved ones will be killed off and be easily replaced by another. These clones make up the majority of our federal, state, and local politicians, military leaders, and local police forces. If you are watching this video it is extremely likely someone you know is, or has been replaced by a clone. They are one of the elite's greatest tool, but are against who they work for. Many of the people we look to for the truth and reliable information are also disinformation and double agents working for the elite such as Ron Paul, Rand Paul, Alex Jones, David Icke, and many others we look to for the truth and reliable information are clones as well.